G'day Roosters, I saw this post on Reddit recently. It had this image from a workbook and it had the post was beginner drawing problem help. Hello, I am having trouble trying to calculate the length of the center and hidden lines and overall height of the elbow shown. Could someone give me some hints? Thank you in advance. So let's have let's let's look if we can solve this problem for this uh, Reddit user. Now I do notice something straight away, is that this is thirteen point three and this is diameter twelve, so that's radius of six. If you take thirteen point three off six, you get seven point three. So if that's the set out to the cent radius, then that should be seven point three, not seven point two five. I'm not sure if that's a deliberate error put in there as a test to see if you know how to do it. But um, let's actually just draw this object and we'll start over here. So with the flange, so we've got 19 by 1.3. So I've started a project and I've created some layers, annotate center lines, def points, oh, I'm not using def points, hidden lines and outline. So let's draw now outline. So ortho on, just straight across, 19, up 1.3, 19 and C for close. Dimensions, I've already slightly set this up, standard. Set that to current. Uh, I, I did 1.25 text height, one mil overall scale, so I just got it to work with this small scale. I'm not used to working in these smaller scales, but um, so yeah, there's the 19. So we'll put that on the, the annotate layer make it look like this one so it's two times capital diameter 19 so just double click on that and put two times percent percent C well let's leave it like that but what I'll do is in the properties I'll go down here to primary units and change that to zero so it looks like the original now the pipe is diameter 12 and it says their diameter 10 true which means that's what it is in the true view so from that point to that point there is the true view but that point to that point is not it's you're looking at an angle so that means it's 10 minus 12 is 2 millimeters so 1 millimeter each side for the wall thicknesses so let's just draw a line straight up the guts there ah, we can use that as a center line now in answer to your question on center lines now that's just uh, your best your best judgment on how far you project it so you can see on this one I've just projected it past a little bit I probably would have had a little bit more on that so what is going on with my layers now because I'm in annotate let's go back to the home ribbon center lines that looks a bit far apart that line works I'm going to change the line type scale to 0.5 Okay, so diameter 12, so offset 12 slash two divided by two, so it's six mils on each side. Let's just trim that up, match property with that. I changed the trim back to the standard two, then the quick uh, mode that came out in 2021. So I'm offsetting one millimeter there for the hidden lines or the wall thicknesses. And I will also change that line type scale 0.5 just a little bit dense I think that's going to work for me okay that's the bottom of it so let's let's just actually let's copy that dimension there and we might as well dimension this thing too yep that looks pretty good and we've got diameter 12 diameter 12 and I don't reckon my dimensions gonna come out the way it, oh it did look at that out of the box AutoCAD so now they see I match properties that my my um my precision's not right. So I want one decimal point on that. So let's go back here and change that precision to one. So I'd say this exercise has been drawn in AutoCAD because look that dimension. This is just a CAD ISO template by the way, out of the box AutoCAD, and it is exactly like that. So that that's good. Now we're going to copy this cookie over to this side and we've got our 13.3 and our 3.4 and stretch that out and do a little circle there. Now trim, use a circle as a temporary construction line then trim it all up. 
and that should be our center of our radius 3.4 so let's get some dimensions on there so we can check that we've got that right okay to there to there now if you going like that if you type H oh that changed it V is it oh that changed it used to be able to type H I have to look in how to do that oh maybe it's N for angle oh, I don't know what they've done they used to be able to type H in the last version I have to look at that a bit bit deeper later on so that's now 13.3 one decimal point so copy that one 13.3 and then this dimension up which is 13.3.4 one decimal point so copy that one now this is where I know there's a problem because if I if I do a circle here and it's radius 7.7.25 Okay. When when that line projects across like that, that should intersect there and it's not because it's 0.5 off because like I said, that distance there is 0 0.6. Yeah. That distance there is uh, 6 millimeters, half half the radius. So 13.3 minus 6 gives you 7.3. Now do you change this one or do you change the radius? Well, actually Let's go that they sent set the we, we could just say the 13.3 is right and the 7.25 wrong. But there's two of these, there's only one of those. So let's just change that one. So this one's got to be 13.25. So I'm going to change precision off screen here to two units. Because this is only one dimension I have to change then. And I'll just make it 0.05, stretch it in. And now when I do a circle like that and let's draw another line, a construction line. So I'm clicking in the center there, my center mark, and I'm going to put the at symbol in. I'll just put a nominal figure, 50, and that little pointy bracket and 45 and shoot that out like that. Now that's 45 degrees. So let's trim between those two. And why I'm doing 45 degrees will become apparent in a minute. So that intersects perfectly there, so I should be able to trim that. Yes, you can. 45 degrees, that tops 45 degrees. And the reason for that is that says 45 degrees. So that's why I'm doing that. Now, um, that radius, it's interesting to see how this works. Radius, two decimal points. Okay, uh, correct. Okay. Now I've got uh, one, so I should be able to just offset things here. Offset one, offset 12, and then offset one back the other way. And then match property to these, and then trim that one up, trim that one up, trim that one up. So that's great. Now I don't need these two lines anymore, and I'm going to copy the bottom of this up to here, and then I'm going to use the align command. Align, grab everything, grab that point, then align it to that point, then grab that point and align it to that point. So the cross over is important because it does that. Puts it on. Ah, I missed, I missed a point there. So let's do that again. Stun do it. I must have snapped to the wrong point. So align, grab that, grab that end point, grab that end point, grab that end point, grab that end point, have the cross. And now it's perfect. So let's make the dimensions look like the sample drawing. So we've also got one from the outside there. Uh, oh, that doesn't even look anything like. I wonder how they've dimensioned that. Maybe they haven't used radius. Maybe they used the diameter one. No, not that one. You know, I can't be bothered mucking around with this one. I'm just gonna show you how to draw it. So you can, you can work this out. No, no, we do need to do it, don't we? Because otherwise you, you really can't see it properly. Let's just draw, let's just hack it. There's probably a way to, okay, that, that's, that's the center line of the dimension, so that's great. Let's just draw a line out like this. And a line out like this. I probably could fiddle around with this and work it out, but I, I haven't, and I'm going to explode that. Okay, so I'm, this 
This is a good hack. <laughs> You're gonna love this hack. Match that, so it's gonna make it look like a dimension when it's not, so the arrows are on that side. So if you do get stuck, stuck sometimes, then you just gotta get a job out. This is what I love about AutoCAD, is you, you can you can hack the, the biscuits out of it. So I'm using that align command again, got that arrow in there, that's great. Now then the other one, aligning that end point to that point and the back of the arrow just somewhere on that line so that looks great so now I just need my little extensions out to my text oh I didn't do a good job of aligning that one I've got to watch my snaps I'm not doing a great job of it and that one come up that one comes up to there what have I done there okay yeah so I've got an extra line to leave that so it's always good to have the text align like that so it's, it reads in a line no, not on top of each other but in the line straight up and down it just makes it a bit smoother um, to read so midpoint and you could do that more accurately than I've done there uh, now let's just trim that up match that there and copy that to there and then well, we could just draw a line down like that and trim it up to like that so that's you know it's not exactly right but it's pretty close so that's good so let's get those dimensions on there up the top uh, I'd like to dimension it too before I do the projection because it just it's a sensibility check that you haven't gone something astray now you can use the align there like that and dimension with that but if you did ever change this thing it goes crazy so what I often do is go UCS object and align it to that object and just rotate that Z axis so it's so UCS object and UCS Z axis minus 90 no 90 oh I don't know let's just draw it and see how it comes I've got a little trick here but use the linear dimension okay that's it is upside down but don't worry because, but what, why I do it like that is that now is fixed at that angle and it, it can't be mucked up. You see, you can stretch it around, so that's handy. Now, I do have a little program called Aplo um, Dim Rotate, it's a list routine. Just Google it, you'll find it on a website. So, Dim Rotate, it's just a quick way of flicking things like that over. So then we got the 3.3 and we got the 3.4 and here's a beauty of what we can do here is we can copy that dimension and then just stretch it. Once we've got one set to the angle we want, we know all the rest will work. Great. Um, and we got the 45 degree one. So that's uh, angular. Is that how you do it? Yep. And I need a construction line, an angle to draw between. So let's put a dimension line up there, match it to that dimension line. And do angular. Yep, great. And I will snap it down to that end. No, that's not right. We'll snap that down a bit further. So that actually, that's really just a temporary one because now I can get rid of it. And that's 45 degrees. Okay, that's great. That's great. Don't worry about those little dots there. You're not gonna, you're not gonna see those. I could fix that up a bit better if I muck around with it. So I've got all the dimensions in, I think. Now I'm gonna project this over and draw this funky thing over here. So let's, project the, the front face over first so the two just project some lines over now we've got we know the flange is 19 so we can do some construction lines the other way by doing offset 19 slash 2 divided by 2 and we need something in the center now that midpoint's right so I'll just check that that's correct this should be an equal number yep so they're both a 6.7175, which is excellent. I type the ellipse command in. Ellipse command, um, I just click here. I'm not sure how to use it. Let's, okay, I did it right first time. So, so I'll just run that ellipse command again. So what I did was um, axes. So first axis, the true axis, and then the, the, the non-true view axis. And now that's correct. Now we've got another one here underneath that we can project, so we can get rid of these construction lines now. 
but we've got this back one we can project so let's shoot that across and then copy this one down and then trim that to that see what's happening here and then match property so this is a hidden line to that one and we've got the circle so let's do I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing here but I'll do the inner one first and you can see the outlines trimmed actually you know what I needed to do is I needed to copy one down the bottom there too so let's copy that down whoops copy that down projecting it from there trim that off trim that to that that gets our bottom now I've left those in a circle one so I've got to trim these lines see these outlines aren't there and then the hidden lines project up to the solid so you only want the opening which is correct so I've offset the correct one I just need the center point of that which will be the same center is it no it won't be what am I thinking that's not right well, this is one way you can draw a center line too. Is you draw a line across like that, and you've got a line, and then you just draw a midpoint off. See, so, I mean, there's many ways of doing it. I'm just showing you one. So then, ellipse. It's probably an old school way, but whatever is required to get it done. So ellipse, two points up to that point. Okay, done, done. Trim, trim that hidden line up. Done, uh, done. So that is, I think we're exactly right, aren't we? If I just pan that across a bit, put that one side by side. Okay, that's center line. I haven't got, so I haven't got the center line there. So let's draw one like that across and I'll do a circle and then I'll trim that and then I'll scale that by two from that endpoint so it's symmetrical and then I'll match property to that. So there's the center line. Um, so it says draw the views of the elbow shown. So we've done the two views, we've done the dimension. Okay, we've got the center lines, got the hidden lines done. This center, oh, it's got one in there, a center line. Um, so I need to offset this by five because the inside was 10 and offset that by five. And probably just scale that by what, three. Yeah, and offset that by five and then scale that by three now match property all of this up so it's center lines and you're not seeing a center line that's because it's too dense but watch this this might work so just pe polyline yes turn into a polyline yes join it to that to that not that one and that one so it's three it's one line so let's just go line type generation here, go enabled, and let's see what happens there. It makes it views that as one line. It's still too dense, so let's make it 0.25. Okay, maybe a bit too 0.35. So you can get that center line to work like that. Okay, side by side again. Okay. Um, duh, 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 duh. Oh, that dimension there, diamond of truth. So I think that's a fudge as well. Um, so we'll just copy that one over, like a sue, and we put percent percent C ten true. Capitals, please. Capitals. True. Should have had that line to not middle but left. Actually, that's what I said before. That's not actually a line properly. Probably. So I much prefer uh, when, I, I would recommend that you make that um, left, not middle center. It's a better way of doing it. And I'll just leave it in there now because this is only for an exercise. I'm gonna move that down nearest. I just did shift right click nearest. Now copy that arrow. I'm just gonna copy this arrow over temporarily. I'll just grab whatever there. And now I'm going to align my line command to just grab that arrow head again yep so that, that I think that's have I done it now you want the height you wanted the height so I mean you could just do a dimension here and go like that to there and that gives you the dimension now that that dimension put the precision up because it's going to be a funny number it's not going to be a whole number 
Okay, so it's it's an accurate to two, and then there's a zero after that, so I'll leave that one. So I'll give you the height. What was the other thing you asked? Uh, calculate the length of the center and hidden lines. Well, the length of the center lines, that's drafting style, so that's up to you. Elements of good style, but the, where the actual center is, we calculated that because it's the center. Overall height of the elbow. Oh, overall height of the elbow. Well, you could just pull the dimension. If that's it, the elbow, you could just pull it down, whatever you wanted to do there. Hey, look at that. It wasn't actually snapped. Boy, you've got to be careful sometimes that you've snapped to the end point when you're rushing. So I've made an error there. Let's just make that fit bigger. Precision. Okay, so that. That, that's just an odd number. So there's there's your um, solution to your thing. And uh, I reckon the biggest problem you had there was that there was an error here. That needed to be 13.25 because what I just mentioned before. So I'll put that on the website and I'll send you the video link and you can watch it. So I hope you enjoy it. See you, mate.